Welcome to the Path to Mindset Mastery. My name is Brad Bizjak. I'm a mindset strategist and coach, inspirational speaker, and creator of Appreciation Academy. And today is all about how to turn it off. Have you ever noticed that when you're going after your big dreams and big goals, you're going, you're going, you're going, you can't quite get it out of your head and you just tend to bring that energy of, you know what, I'm not where I want to be yet. You tend to maybe bring that to your family or bring that to your kids or bring that to other areas of your life where it's not truly serving you. I used to do that all the time and frankly still do sometimes. But there's this one strategy, this one tactical skill, this one mindset tip that you can apply to your day-to-day life that allows you to turn off all the things that are working you or maybe all the things that you're working on or maybe causing you some stress and allow you to be more present with those that you love the most. And when you're more present with those that you love the most, what ends up happening is you bring more fulfillment to your work and you're able to get that stuff done faster and with more excellence than you ever could have before. So before we dive into that, If you find value in this episode today, make sure and give us a rating and review on iTunes. I would absolutely love to see your feedback on how this is serving you. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you think can serve you. If there's a topic that you want me to cover on uh, this uh, this podcast, feel free to just send an email to support at bradbizjack.com. Would love to honor that request and serve you in whatever way that you need. And um, and always, if, if you're finding a ton of value in this, subscribe to us. Subscribe to our podcast. And on top of that, Feel free, you can, we linked it up below, to opt into our weekly blog post. What I'll do is I'll send out a, every Wednesday at 7 a.m., I send out a brand new training that helps you change your mindset so you can change your life and get the results that you want and maximize your life in all areas. Goes out every Wednesday at 7 a.m. We've been doing it for two years now. It is super, super, super helpful. And so I hope you choose to opt into that as well. So there's one strategy that will serve you. I found in my life um, that when I was building my business, I'm still building my business, but when I was in the thick of it and really trying to get it off the ground, what I found was that it was, I had a really, really hard time turning everything off, right? I was going all day in, in my messenger and in my texts and in my emails, and I have like all these journals, 18,000 books everywhere, and all these things that I'm trying to do to, to magnify my life and make it even bigger and do things with more excellence and serve all these people and build a business. There's so much that goes into it. And maybe you are at a corporate job or something and you're going and, and doing work all day long, and it's really easy to bring that stress back into your day right? Or back into your family. Like you pull in the driveway, you walk in the house and you're kind of stressed out from the work day. Even if you're not trying to be, people's bullshit meter is so high. And so this episode is all about how to be proactive instead of reactive. I found that I was bringing negative energy and stress about why I'm not where I want to be yet into my relationship with my wife. And it wasn't fair to her because she's waiting all day to to chat with me and to catch up about my day and to see how I'm doing. And then I'm bringing stress to her. That's not making her life better. And it's not the type of relationship that, that I would want. And so I need to take responsibility to change that, right? I need to take responsibility to bring those positive feelings to her every day so we create that relationship that I want or that we want, right? So there's a strategy that I learned that has changed the game for me. And it's something that I do in everything. This is all about being proactive instead of reactive. And it's all about setting intention. You can do this with work. You can do this with negative people in your life. You can do this when you're going from one room to another. But no matter what the situation is, it all it takes is one minute of your time. That is it. One minute of your time and your entire life can change so quickly. And it all comes down to one minute of intention. One minute of intention. And so here's what I personally do. I'll use the example of work, but you can use this with anything. When I'm finished up, like I'm filming a couple podcasts today, um, I am doing a bunch of invitations to speaking gigs, all these things. And when I, what I do is after I finish all this stuff, I stop and when I'm all done for the day, close my computer and before I open that door, what I'll do is I'll sit here and I'll pause and I'll say, you know what? What are what emotions do I want to walk into the next room with? Who do I want to be when I walk into the next room? That might be in your driveway when you get home from work. Who do you want to be when you walk in that door? Who do you want to be when you greet your kids? How do you want them to experience you when you show up for the first time that day? Is it something where you want to walk in and feel like, oh, that was a long day. Or do you want to walk in and say, I'm so excited to see you. Give them a big kiss, spin them around, put them against the wall, whatever you got to do, right? 
which would leave a better impression, which would make their life more fulfilled. And when you give and make their life more fulfilled, you feel more complete. And when you feel more complete, you bring more of who you are to your business and your work. And so you're more productive at work. There's a direct correlation with our personal lives and our professional lives direct correlation. And so we want to make sure to bring our best selves into what we do. So here's what you're going to do. A challenge, just do this all week and it will change. Do, don't just do this all week. Do this every day. It changes your life. Whether you're about to leave a room or about to walk in the door from work or about to be done with work for the day and your spouse is in the next room or your kids are about to walk in the door from school or you're about to call someone in your family that's negative or whatever it is, if you set the intention of who you want to be and the emotions you want to bring when you walk into that room, it's almost like it's a gateway. You're letting, you're leaving everything else behind you in the previous room and you're bringing the best version of yourself to what you do. It's just being proactive in your life instead of reactive in your life. It's an amazing way to live. And it recharges your batteries, it fulfills you, and it helps you see that your, your emotions in your life are not, uh, are not caused by your circumstances. It's, it's your, your emotions that cause your circumstances. They're not caused by your circumstances. Because I could bring the stress of work into my relationship with my wife, or I can choose to say, you know what, I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to be present. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to be loving. I'm going to be caring. I'm going to show up in that room with excitement and joy and passion. And that's how I'm going to show up for her. And our relationship is incredible because of it. And that's what I challenge you to do too. It doesn't just need to be with your spouse, with your kids. If you're working your, your business, I'm just making something up. It could be work, whatever it is. And you set the emotions of, you know what? I'm going to be playful. I'm going to be loving. And I'm going to be accepting. And I'm going to be curious. And I'm going to be totally present with my kids when I walk through this door. How will that change their lives forever? Everything will be different because they had a mom or a dad that was present with them in their most formidable years, formidable years when they were looking up to you and, and they were looking to you for, for a guide. But if you withhold that love and that presence from them because you're stressed out about things going on at work, imagine what that does to their future. Imagine what that does to crave that love from you and not get it in the way that they want it. What would that do? I'm not saying that anyone's being a bad parent here. I'm saying be proactive in being that present, loving, playful, accepting, curious parent that will make their life so much better. If you're about to call someone that maybe you have a, a tumultuous relationship with, maybe you set the intention before you call that person to be compassionate and accepting and forgiving. How would that change the energy of the conversation instead of calling that person and being closed off and shut down? and upset or annoyed or just not there it will change their life and you'll feel more fulfilled from it it's one minute to change every minute of your life it is so simple but all it takes is a one minute pause we're in this huge rush in life if we just take a second to slow down before we respond to things slow down before we start a new situation it just takes one minute that's it one minute to set some intentions, be proactive about the person you wanna be in the next room. Your entire life will change. And not only will your life change, you will change the lives of every person you come in contact with. They will get the best, most generous, most loving, giving version of you. You'll make their life better. You will feel more fulfilled. And when you feel more fulfilled, there's a direct correlation with your fulfillment in life and your success. Remember, success without fulfillment is failure. When you're fulfilled, you take the courageous action to create that success and it builds upon itself. If you're stressed out and you're focused on what could go wrong or the stress of the day, it gets to a state of negativity and draining and a drained energy and it leads to being in a bad mood and not present with those that you love and you're disappointed in yourself and then you judge yourself. It's a downward spiral and it's hard to get out of and you bring that energy to your work the next day. But if you pause for one minute, and you say, you know what? I'm going to focus on being the best version of myself when I walk into that room. And you become proud of yourself. You're flooded with energy every single day. You're in a happy mood. You take massive action. You're more present with those that you love. And you feel like you're growing. You feel like you're expanding. You feel like you're bringing the best version of who you are to everything you do. And you feel love and happiness and acceptance and joy. And you bring that to your business and your work. You excel. You fly. You crush it. And it's easy to do. So one minute to change every minute. I hope this small little mindset strategy served you today. 
And if it did serve you, leave us a rating and review on iTunes or whatever medium you're listening to this on. I love seeing your feedback, love seeing how this is serving you in some way. And if you really love the content, make sure you subscribe to the podcast or you can subscribe below. We, we link below this video. We have you know, blog a blog that we send out every single week on Wednesdays at 7 a.m. where you can subscribe and I'll give you a brand new training every single Wednesday. We've been doing it for two years and it's freaking awesome. So feel free to subscribe if you find this content valuable so I can be in touch with you and serving you more on a regular basis. I hope this video served you today. My name is Brad Bizjak. Thank you so much for tuning into the Path to Mindset Mastery. Go out there today and every day and live your life with a genuine smile on your face. I'll see you next week.